Hey everyone and once again welcome to WSQ Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskeer. Guys in this particular video we are basically going to talk about the ad scheduling option which is there in Facebook ads. So as the name suggests it's quite simple. You can actually schedule your ads. You can actually schedule when your campaign uh, should run right. This is again a very important uh, topic if you want to optimize your budget. If you do not want fake clicks or if you do not want irrelevant or if you do not want uh, like uh, which are not useful clicks right. You can basically schedule your uh, ad if you know that uh, when your audience is uh, online right so you have to study all these things that when my audience is on online or when our prospects are basically online you can you can study all these things and accordingly you can schedule your ads right so uh, your ad will be only shown uh, on those specific hours which you have scheduled on those specific days or time which whichever you have uh, selected your ad will be shown on that specific time only right so that will basically save a lot of impressions right so this is again a very important thing that you can actually try but before that you have to study about so many things that uh, when our audience is actually online uh, you have to study your pages your social media profiles and uh, you have to figure out that at what time your uh, prospects are generally online or at what time your prospects are generally engaging right or on what time your prospects have good interactions so you have to understand all these things you have to basically research not understand you have to research on all these things then you will come uh, then you will come with an answer that okay this is the time this is the sweet spot that we should hit right so now uh, first of all let me show you where we are going to see this option so as soon as you will uh, click on this creating new campaign option over here and you'll go to any uh, option right any campaign objective option now over here when you will come down at the campaign budget optimization level what you will see over here within this uh, see more option you have this ad scheduling option which says that your this particular campaign will run all the time why because it is set at daily budget now what you can do is you can go ahead and select the lifetime budget right so uh, your ad scheduling will not work on your daily uh, campaign budget approach you have to select your lifetime budget if you want to work on ad scheduling right so we have selected lifetime budget suppose our lifetime budget is 5000 or 6000 whatever it is our lifetime budget is 6000 rupees and then we want to schedule our ad so now we are seeing this edit option over here and we'll go ahead and click on this run ads on a schedule right so now we can define our schedule but the question is how we are going to define the schedule how we are going to find the sweet spot or how we can actually think that okay, and this is the time when we actually should run our ads or when we should get some impressions right so we have some like very basic things that will help you in deciding about the ad scheduling and at scheduling approach you can see over here uh, first of all what you are seeing over here is your business operations if you have some specific time uh, when your business is into operation and you do not want to contact anyone or you do not want to contact prospects other than that uh, time right then you should go for your ad schedule let's say if you have a shop and your shop operates uh, between 9 am to like 9 am to uh, 9 pm only right and uh, now you do not want to run your ads other than this particular time slot then you can basically set your ad scheduling right this will this will also uh, save a lot of impressions for you right then again the second uh, trick or the second thing that can help you in finding the sweet spot with respect to the time is your previous campaign results you can you can see your previous uh, campaigns you can analyze your previous campaigns and figure out that what time is actually working for you at what time we are getting better results at what time we were performing best or we were performing good so you know that um, in your niche now this is the time where we can actually hit right so you can you can uh, schedule your ads on that particular basis also so how you can do this uh, let me tell you let me tell you let's come to facebook over here and we have we have some ads over here as you can see i am at this ad section over here we have uh, we have some ads over here now what we can do is we can go to this breakdown section over here and then we can go to the delivery section and within delivery we can select time of the day or time of the day viewers time zone and ad, ad accounts time zone so if you want to see ad accounts time zone report right then you can select this one if you want to see viewers time zone report then you can go ahead and select this one so for for now we are going to select the ad account time because we were running ads in india only and our major audience is from india only. so viewers time zone option comes into consideration if you are running your ad globally and your audience or your viewers are 
uh, located at different locations throughout the globe then only that option comes into play otherwise uh, you can study over here right you can study over here from here we have like uh, from midnight 12 right we have 24 hours things over here and then you can study different uh, imp uh, things over here when you actually got better impressions so as you can see you got some good impressions over here in this particular time zone and then everything else is like all okay right and you got some good impressions over here also this time slot so you can select this particular time slot from 9000 to like this one 9000 fine and rest is not great so now uh, you you can easily identify that this is the thing which is basically performing good for us so you can you can uh, see other matrices also like results or anything which is which is basically important and then you can analyze that at what time your uh, your uh, campaigns are performing well right at what time your campaigns are performing well you can note that time and you can now test right you can run other campus see guys this is this is not like it will work right you have to test you have to pick some good times over here and then you can test uh in new campus that whether this is working or not right so you have to test this thing it is never like 100 percent short shot formula right uh, you have to test things so you can take the help of uh, your existing campaigns or already running campaigns or the campaigns which were formed for you in previous time but make sure that you have enough data because if you will have enough data that will be much more convenient for you and that will that and that data will be useful for you right so many of the times i've seen people what mistakes they actually make is they rely on very small data i will never recommend you to do analysis on a very small data for the analysis purpose or the optimization purpose or whenever you want to conclude something always go for a larger data try to find out the larger data when you have the large data then the results coming from the large data are more accurate there is less deviation but when you are when you are basically analyzing a very small data a very small data set chances of deviations are higher right so you have to make sure and this is this is the universal law it will be applicable to all uh, all digital marketing platform it is not very much specific to facebook or anything right it is applicable to all the digital marketing platforms all the ppc platforms that we know that whenever you are doing some analysis always go for the larger data so whenever you want to study something always wait for the larger data right so coming back over here now we have two options that can help or we have two ways that can actually help us in deciding about the ad schedule the first one is your business operations as i just told you and i have given you an example with regards to that particular thing then we have our previous campaign results which can again help us in deciding about the ad schedule and then we have our social media page insights also so you can you can figure out that on our social media platforms how the audience interacting is with us how they are interacting with our post and at what time they are mostly online so all these things you can analyze from your social media pages but it will be good if you will analyze your facebook page right so you can see this thing we are over here and what we can do is guys we can go ahead and select our facebook page fine and from there we can do some analysis right so let me select my facebook page over here so as soon as we are over here we can go to insight we have this inside section of uh, each and every page that we have created so you can you can do the analysis of your pages to understand at what particular time your audience is basically active and you can again test that particular time i am again not saying that it will work i am not saying that it will work i am just telling you that you have to test this thing right now what you can do is now let's see that option once again over here when we were selecting the ad scheduling so as soon as we have selected the ad scheduling now we what we have to do is we have to come to our ad set or ad group level and over here we have to select our uh, ad scheduling time right so we have a very simple interface over here so what we can do is suppose we want to show our ad uh, on monday from 3 pm to like 6 pm now this is how we can actually select this thing and if we want to apply this thing for each and every day we can select this thing right but our ad will only get impression if it is eligible to get impression right this is the only ad scheduling settings that we are doing over here it is not like that it is compulsory that our ad will show over here now we have two options over here which is like use viewers time zone and then we have used this ad accounts time zone. we have all these kind of different options which are available here with regards to ad scheduling but one thing which is very important we have to analyze that what should be the ideal ad schedule for us right so that's it for this specific video. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.